young people and foreigners who are unfamiliar with the conduct of public affairs in the United States sometimes have difficulty in decoding the rhetoric used to describe government actions in this country. As a public service to such political novices, I have drawn up a brief guide whose entries match a particular government action, objective, or condition with the terms commonly used to describe it in the news media and in polite conversation. Simply apply the rule, if the government does X, it is called Y. If the government does extortion, it is called taxation. If the government does robbery, it is called taxation. If the government does unjust, and often pointless or destructive, compulsion of innocent persons, it is called regulation. If the government does kidnapping, it is called imprisonment of persons convicted of victimless crimes. If the government does torture, it is called enhanced interrogation techniques. If the government does imperialism, it is called global peacekeeping operations. If the government does spying on citizens without cause, it is called homeland security operations. If the government does sexually assaulting and battering airline passengers, men, women, and children alike, it is called airline security operations. If the government does hurting, stripping, and irradiating airline passengers, men, women, and children alike, it is called airline security operations. If the government does accepting bribes, it is called accepting campaign contributions. If the government does propagandizing the general public, it is called holding official press conferences. If the government does indoctrination and servility and loyalty to the state, it is called public education. If the government does savage, pointless massacre of foreigners, it is called national defense. If the government does unjust enrichment of private individuals and corporations, it is called subsidies. If the government does beating, tossing, and shooting innocuous persons, it is called making arrests. If the government does debasement of the currency, it is called quantitative easing. If the government does fostering systemic economic booms and busts, it is called monetary policy. If the government does fostering systemic economic booms and busts, it is called fiscal policy. If the government does wasting and destroying natural resources, it is called implementing conservation policies. If the government does suppressing liberties on unjust and baseless grounds, it is called implementing environmental policies. If the government does serving the interests of the Israeli state, it is called carrying out Middle East policies. If the government does maintaining a police state, it is called maintaining law and order, public health, and national security. If the government does lying about everything of consequence, it is called keeping the public informed. If the government does robbing productive Peter to pay unproductive Paul, it is called maintaining the safety net. If the government does murderous, blundering, destructive global intervention, it is called U.S. foreign policy. If the government does suffering blowback, it is called being attacked because foreigners hate us for our freedoms. If the government does unjustly enriching Goldman Sachs, Adalia, it is called preventing another Great Depression. If the government does deferring and worsening the inevitable day of reckoning, it is called stabilizing financial and housing markets. If the government does rigging the game to ensure the re-election of incumbent members of Congress, it is called democracy in action. If the government does bribing or intimidating foreign governments to assist big multinational corporations, it is called U.S. foreign policy. If the government does gratifying one's megalomania and feathering one's nest at public expense, it is called public service. If the government does war, it is called peace. If the government does slavery, it is called freedom. If the government does ignorance, it is called strength.